Today's episode of Motherboards.org is brought to you by Kingston, makers of the famous HyperX memory and the latest SSD technology. Hey, what's up, friends and fans? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today, we'll be doing the full review of Sapphire's latest, greatest product. This is the new Edge HD Mini PC. Taking a closer look at the Edge HD, we can see right off the bat that it's really no bigger than a human hand. Now, we'll take a look at the top of the unit. All the heat is actually dissipated out of the top of the unit. There are fans in here that blow all of the heat away from the CPU. The CPU inside of here is the new dual core Intel Atom D510 running at 1.66 gigahertz. We also have internally two gigabytes of RAM. The CPU has one megabyte of cache. We'll move on. We'll go ahead and take a look at the side. We have your on power button and your restart button right here on the side. And to keep the unit up on its thing, we have a base. The base mounts onto it and this helps keep the mount unit straight up and down. At the front of the unit, we can see that this is a completely diskless system. On the front right here, I'll try to pop this little thing here. Let me take a look here. Pop this out. You can see there are two USB ports on the front. They can be used for either your keyboard or mouse or any additional drives that you'd like to hook up there. Going to go ahead and flip it around real quick. We're going to take a look at the rear I.O. The rear I.O. has a single VGA and HDMI output. Now there's also the Intel Ion 2 with 512 megabytes of onboard memory for the GPU. We're going to move on. We're going to take a look here. These are the USB 2.0 ports. We also have your standard ethernet port right here. There's also wireless ethernet on board, so Wi-Fi is available. You got your power connection, and then all of your external audio ports are right here, like your speakers and your headphones. One of the things I really liked about this system is it came with DOS pre-installed, which means that you don't need a boot disk. So, and it also came with a little USB device, which I'm pointing at right here, that comes with all of your drivers. Now, you can additionally go ahead and just install your Windows 7 or whatever OS onto this and install everything off of this device. Pretty cool. If you want to install the OS through a CD player, you can hook up a USB CD player and install it that way, but I would suggest installing it off this disc. It's much faster. The Sapphire Edge HD is a really cool little device. It'll check your email. You can go online, do all your Facebook stuff. It'll stream movies. It'll play even those little card games and stuff like that that come on there. And it has a 250 gigabyte hard drive on it, so you can store quite a bit of information on it. Now, one of the things that's really strange about this is to see how technology partners change beds. Sapphire has traditionally been a company who partners up with AMD. Now with this new Edge HD, we see a product that features Intel and Nvidia People who have usually been at odds traditionally, they're actually teaming up together to work with Sapphire, a company that's normally not doing business with them. All in all strange, but good for us, the consumer, because when their technology takes leaps and bounds, it comes to us at the end and we get the price discount. At the end of the day, I gotta say, this Edge HD is really cool. It's gonna hit the market between the three and $340 range. And it'll do everything that you need. As you can see, it'll hook up right to any HD device you want. So you can use a TV, a monitor, whatever you want. The sound on board is quite adequate. So if you're a guy who just wants to sit at home, listen to his music, go on the web, check his email, stream videos, this is the perfect device for you. I give it an editor's choice here at motherboards.org and thank you folks for watching.